Okay, I haven't done any Wing Chun videos for a while, so I thought I'd do some, some Wing Chun exercises. And um, so the Wing Chun I do is not traditional. Of course it isn't. There is no traditional internal Wing Chun. Um, you look at all the Grand Masters, what they're doing is athletic, not, not internal. So uh, I applied all the fundamentals of what I understand from the internal arts of trained and from hermetics and applied them to human movement and uh, looked at Wing Chun and then morphed the Wing Chun internal model because I could not find an internal model anywhere. Okay, so let's have a look at this, some of these underlying principles in Wing Chun and how they relate to internal training and how to morph the, the internal principles into the Wing Chun model to, to develop it. Now, there's a bunch of models. There's a Tri Dan Tien model, there's a ground path model, there's a drum model. Uh, and I teach a whole heap, heap of types. And the reason why, when you train a particular model and you put it into a repetitive loop so you can separate your intent from your obs observation of doing it, you sort of, the intending mind does it and the observing mind watches and then you watch from a further distance, you generate a layer of skill. Now all these layers of skill come together unconsciously for you to perform internal tasks. Now most internal masters can't teach because they don't recognize this mechanism happening. They'll go, this is what it feels like, they'll run it through you, they'll float you, they'll bounce you, they'll show you the drills and you've got to figure it out. And only an empathic person will get there. Now, in developing an internal system, you have to look at what are the layers of unconscious development inside the system. If you want every one of your students to become a master internally, you have to recognize each layer you implant inside the student. So the first one is seizing. You grab your partner's wrists and you touch their base and you grab their fascia. You seize. And as you seize, you stretch all your joints open, you vital breathe into your partner and you shake their fascia. You get subconscious familiarity with people that you all connect to their facial web. Because if they contract a muscle, their fascia is contracting and you own them. You've got their center. So there's seizing energy, there's grabbing energy, very, very important. Right from the beginning of the there's all these grabbing exercises. You have to learn how to seize the fascia of your partner. So touch their, touch their bridge, tap on their base, and grab everything you can feel. Now as you grab, stretch your joints open. Tune the feeling of life force practice, seizing the structure of your, your partner. Once you can seize and, and just watch yourself do it and separate your awareness from the act of doing so, you can put the next layer on top. Because when you do Fajin, you grab someone's fascia and you issue into it, you want that seized joint stick to be there so that your energy hits their fascia. Whether you're going to break their structure and strike or whether you're going to bounce them, same thing. Seizing is the first energy. Grab your partner's forearm, touch their base, and seize and grab them. And keep doing it until it's a subconscious habit. So when you touch people, you seize them. Your energy grabs them. And this is super important, layer number one. Layer number two is to breathe into what you're seizing and increase space. What this does is separates the person's room from their energy from their body. It pulls the three dantians apart. So you seize, and then you relax and open. You breathe into it and you create a magnetic stick to your partner while you're opening and creating space. As soon as you start creating space, this creates the gaps for your energy to go in and start to affect and influence the person. So seize, grab the person, get used to getting the seizing there, and then yield into that space that you've seized and open everything up. Now they're becoming vulnerable. Once this becomes a subconscious habit, you can touch and apply an intrinsic energy and your unconscious mind will seize, grab what's there, compress, decompress, open, open the three bodies and slide through the gaps. So you need to learn how to do this first. Then the chi and the jin that you're projecting and hitting the person with will go through the gaps, punch the 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 um, yin inside their body react and you'll have it working for you. So with any internal development model, you have to look at what are the layers. 
So in Wing Chun, I go through each of the intrinsic energies, the energy personalities in the first form. There's about 18 of them. And then we refine each one and we make a subconscious habit. We make a repetitive loop, so you repeat it over and over and over until you're just subconsciously doing it. And that personality expresses itself underneath what you're doing with the other techniques. It's a layering process. It's, it, it's too difficult to touch someone's base, grab, okay, open everything up, float them, put the energy in, use this intrinsic energy. It, there's too much complexity there. But your body consciousness can do that for you. It keeps your heart beating, keeps you breathing, keeps all your basal needs there, keeps, keeps you alive, controls the bacteria in your body. For, for you to build a few layers of behavior inside of Wing Chun, for your body consciousness, that is very, very simple. There's no complexity in that at all. All right, so inside of this uh, process of, of building an internal model, you have to look at what does each layer identify? First layer, seizing. Tai Chi that you're sticking, but seizing's better because it's quicker. It's a lot of complexity in how you stick because there's listening qualities, there's vital breathing, there's gin, there's magnetism in the stick, there's bridging, all these things have to be done inside of sticking. But seizing, you just grab your part, touch their feet through their facial room, stretch through their face and grab everything you feel. And just practice grabbing, vital breathing, grabbing, vital breathing, stretching and digging in. And keep doing that until when you touch people, you grab them. And you snatch them off their feet. You own them the moment you touch them. Then vital breathing creates space. So here, this is where the sticking energy starts to come in. As you create and open up that space and the body's open, you're stretching through the gaps then you have that, that control starts happening through the sticking. All right, so from there, when you've got the float, then we start branching off into, okay, do I increase the amount of sticking energy? Uh, or do I start putting juts out, snapping energy in? So you stick and snap and you spread. So you split the bodies apart when you snap. So these, these seize and snapping back energies tear the three bodies and you start developing a habit of doing this. You grab the person's structure, you seize, you float, and you snap back, you do a juts out. And as you, you snap, you split the energy. You split the, the three dantians. This is cutting the root. So you build this layer in. Then you start putting the, the, eight body, the four body methods in. Sink, rise, swallow, shoot. You start practicing floating your partner, swallowing and drawing the partner in, uh, sending the energy out as you shoot, have a look at the shunting exercise we did in the last video, and then, ha then start mirroring. And of course, sinking, how you neutralize energy in yourself and how you sink within another person. So the sink, rise, swallow, shoot, you start applying those powers individually as individual exercises, and you build these layers. Now we're starting to get up to, you know, six, eight, ten, ten different types of energy that you're working with. And if you add each intrinsic energy in the first form, we're, we're already bridging on uh, 25 energies. And you take those 25 and you build the personality of each one. Now you let the tiger out of the cage. You touch and you just let, let the energies do what they want to do to uproot and throw the person. As you let your, your feeling go, your body mechanics will just do what it does and you have a reaction inside your, your partner. You don't plan everything, anything, you just let, your, let the tiger out of the cage and let it do its thing. This subconscious uh, um, release, where you just let your unconscious behaviors express themselves, starts to morph into a unique type of energy personality in yourself, where you can express different internal energies. So what you end up doing can't be taught. But you can teach people the layers, because everyone's unique. Everyone, you look at all these different masters, nobody has what the master has. Every student tries to follow, they're not even close, because they're imitating. They didn't identify the laws of the three, three Dantians. They didn't identify the direction between them. They didn't build subconscious habits of energy movement, and then let the subconscious express itself in its own unique way. So if you're building an internal model like Wing Chun, you have to get into the Qigong side, mind moves Qi, Qi moves body, 
break down each intrinsic energy and build it as a habit and then let the combination of all those habits express themselves. And if you're interested in expressing martially, you make subconscious martial expressions. If you're interested in healing, people come, come near you and they go, ah, oh, I feel so relaxed when I'm around this person. Because the subconscious will interact with your subconscious and you have a healing personality, the healing starts the moment a person comes close to you or even thinks about you because they remember the healing presence. So whatever personalities you're going to build intrinsically, internally, you have to identify the mechanism in the body mechanics, in the feeling mechanics, and the mind mechanics. Train it until it, you can separate the intent and the intender apart. So you watch yourself do it. Then it's hit critical mass. It's doing it by itself. Next layer, next layer, next layer. And you build your internal model for whatever your path is. Thank you for your time. And uh, see you in the next video.